Okay, so what I've done is I've taken tack cloth, I've wiped all these off. Now I have some cheesecloth cut and ready, and uh, I have the finish I'm going to use. And what's really important is to read all the warnings and directions that are on here. And um, uh, one of the main thing is these right down here on the very bottom. Not sure how well you can see that on camera but it's danger steel wool rags and other waste soaked in this product uh, and sanding residue may spontaneously catch fire if improperly discarded and it goes on with directions on how to properly make sure that you don't light your house on fire so with that in mind cheesecloth here's the uh, lower handguard the upper handguard and the stock itself still has a couple more minutes to dry to make sure that it gets all the water out of it, but it's gonna be done by the time I'm actually able to sand it. I not sand it, but uh, stain it, because I'm gonna do these two first and um, just go from there. So I'm gonna set the camera up and uh, hope it gets everything here. Ooh, that's nice and red. And when you're applying the stain, you still want to go with the grain of the wood everywhere that you're going to have it. And uh, you might need to dab it in a couple places like I'm doing here, but just make sure that it goes with the grain. Ooh, that's going to have a nice finish to it. Dab it on there and just let it sit. Make sure that you haven't missed any spots. Doesn't look like it, looks like it was a nice even coat. Set aside. Then start on the next piece. Again with the grain.
Now onto the big piece. Stay now. All right, and just like that, the stain's on everything. Alright, so all the staining's done, and now it's just pretty much waiting for it to dry and soak in, and um, just make sure to get rid of all the stuff with the stain on it, in this case gloves, the uh, cheesecloth, everything, and um, then just uh, Pretty much let it dry. Make sure that you soak these. Well, not the sock set, but the gloves, the cheesecloth, everything in water just to make sure that it doesn't spontaneously combust like it says on there. And uh, now that that's done, here's a look at the results of the... Um, stain there. This is before it's completely set. This is just soaked in. It takes about eight hours for it to completely set. But, uh, that's it. Then we're gonna go over the rest of this video later.